Yo, 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 we are back with another prize pick bottle of the week. And this week, the bottle is none other than the Tom Ford Ombre Leather. Now, this bottle came out about two or three years ago, and it immediately became one of my favorites um, for many different reasons. Uh, the main reason is the price. The price of this bottle is under $200. And for the longevity, the compliments, and the, the fragrance itself, it's not going to stay under $200 long. I can't believe that this is a Tom Ford fragrance under $200 anyway. As you can see, I have the body spray and I have two bottles here. The reason I have the body spray with it is because me, I am into the longevity and just making sure that I seal the fragrance. So once I get out of the shower, this is the first thing I spray on, the, the, the body spray. It just, it seals everything. It's like if you're a cook, you use olive oil on your meat or whatever, that's what that body spray do. Now, like I said, I have two bottles of this. This is the, the first version that came out when they released the fragrance, the, uh, the regular version. It's still a perfume, but it's not as intense as this version. It has the exact same scent. It's the exact same fragrance, but this one is much more stronger and it will last even longer. This one already lasts a good seven and a half, eight hours. This one's gonna last at least 10, 11 hours. You definitely have to take a shower to get this off. You definitely have to wash your clothes to get it off your clothes. Again, it's one of my favorites. I rate this a 10 out of 10 um, for many different reasons. The longevity, the scent, the price. Again, it's not gonna stay under $200 long. This is one of, if you enjoy a, a sophisticated, clean, rich scent, Tom Ford Ombre Leather is the one for you. And again, this is my prize pick bottle of the week. Tom Ford Ombre Leather. Yo, 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 we are back with another episode of My Sentiments. And this show is only for people who wash their ass. And if you don't wash your ass, look, just go ahead and find you something else to look at because you ain't going to relate to nothing that we're about to talk about over here. And today we got my boy, my partner, Jeremy from Good Day Sense. What's up with you, bro? What's up, man? I am glad to be here. Glad to have you in here. Thank you. Look, man, um, it's a special episode today because we're not just talking about fragrances in a bottle we're gonna be talking about fragrances in a jar and if you don't know what i'm talking about we're gonna be talking about the candles that jeremy has created over at good day Scents that i've recently partnered with i know you've seen me posting candles lately this is the the head honcho the ceo the founder of good day Scents, my partner jeremy what's up bro what's going on man, man i'm great what about yourself I'm a little tired, bro. I'm alive, breathing. I can walk. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, good, man. man. No complaints. I think that's everybody in the room, bro. Hey, yo, it's Justin White here, and I'm here again to tell you how to double your money with Prize Peaks. Look, I don't know if you already got Prize Peaks downloaded or if you heard about anybody using it or whatever, but look here, if you don't have it downloaded, go ahead and download it right now and deposit $100. When you deposit $100, they're going to double it with another $100. All these games on WNBA, any, look, any, anything, any game on wherever you at, and it's in over 30 states. So just about wherever you at, Prize Picks is available. So look, go and download Prize Pick right now and use my promo code, my scent. That's M Y S C E N T, so they can match your deposit up to hundred dollars. Look here, it's available in over thirty states, and that means wherever you at, the game is on. So right now, download Prize Pick. Use my code, my scent. That's M Y S C E N T, and go ahead and start doubling your money up to hundred dollars. That's daily fantasy sports, made easy. You know what I um. I'm I'm happy that you're here today, but like I said, this is a, a a special episode because Jeremy didn't bring a fragrance in a bottle. He bought one in a jar. Um, and I know you got so many different types of of candles and different types of of, of scents. Um, so what what you what you bring here today though? What you what you got today? So what I have here today is uh, three candles that me and Justin partnered up on. Oh, you um, bought those three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. We called it My Sentiments, and then um, I think you gave each one a, a different name, right? I did. Um, that, that, you know, that was very significant to me. So this one is the Curvin Juwan. Yeah, that's my baby brother. Yeah. Brother. Because, he, he, you know, he, he, he want to smell like me. He want to be like me. So, you know, I thought of a, a, something that was fitting for him. Like the three that he would steal from me, I put them together. Mm -hmm. And that's and I named it him, and he loved it. He he, oh. yeah. So in the first one, the curve, your brother, we have saffron, cedarwood, 
Alma and Patchouli. And Patchouli, yeah. yeah. So that's that. It it gives you that. Yeah, that smell really, really nice. yeah. <laughs> it's 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 one more for it's for anybody, but it's more for you know fellas that like to burn candles because they they really don't think we burn candles like they do. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I, and I'm so glad that you know you created a candle company because you get to show people that you know we burn candles too. Like we care about this shit too. Yeah, you sure. know, because I burn candles like like I ain't got electric. And you know your your fragrances too. Yes. You know, we was making the candles, you kind of knew what you Oh, wanted, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I saw how you look at, you know, yeah. the first day you look at, okay, this nigga know what he doing. I do. Your typical uh, everyday person really doesn't know specific fragrances or scents they want. They nah. might say, I want something like vanilla. Like, that's common, but the ones you know are like, you can tell that you're really into it and you really oh, have a passion for down to the and nitty gritty. So. And I don't know where that shit came from, bro. It's just something yeah. that I like. Uh, obviously, you do too, because what makes you just want to make candles? How did you start it? Uh, so I started in 2019, um, and it just started... Right before COVID? Yeah, right before COVID, and it had just started for me going through a situation I was going through and just finding, trying to find an outlet to put that energy into. Did you like candles before that, though? I didn't. Damn. I didn't even... Well, I knew about candles as a guy, like, but when you didn't younger, buy them and shit, yeah. you're not going to the store to buy candles. Wow. I think you really start to pay attention to or notice candles the older you get and the more mature. Um, so yeah, I started in 2019. My first girlfriend that I lived with made me like candles. So For real? I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. How old were you though? I was 22. That's what I'm. That's a, that's yeah. a little older than like. And she was like 24, 16, 17, yeah, 24, 24 you know, 25. Yeah, yeah. She she burned candles all the time. Yeah. So I started making candles. Um, and it started off as a hobby. It wasn't a business at first. Started off as a hobby. Um, gave some away for free. About 50 people liked them. Um, and then so that I can tell that they kind of paid attention to him and it kind of caught on. And I was like, let me turn this hobby or passion into a business. And like you said, 2019 was right before COVID. Um, and then COVID happened, I think, like 2020. Mm -hmm. And then everybody's in their house when they're lighting candles. Stop. And everybody was in their shit. house doing yep. COVID. So I'm like, oh, shit, perfect timing. Started in 2019. COVID happened in 2020. Um, and that's when the business started to take off. And I've just been going with the momentum since 2020. So it's been about five years now. So, you know... Anybody who's starting a business, mm -hmm. it it takes a lot to get it to just jump off, mm -hmm. so, you know. And you are doing very well with the candles. So, what was one of your biggest? I don't say achievements, but what was one of your biggest boosts or biggest push while you were once you started to sell these candles? Mm -hmm. Because like you know, true enough, people were in the house, yeah. you know, during COVID or whatever. But you can go anywhere and get a candle. So, yeah, what exactly. made people just really fuck with Good Day? So I think mine's like when it comes to to scents or fragrances, there are a lot of common scents out there. Right. So one of the biggest things, where I think, just candle companies, even cologne, is the branding, how they look, what the brand uh, represents, what's the meaning behind that, as well as how it smells when you're dealing with something that has a smell. So for right. me, I think that people gravitated toward the good day scents brand uh, motto that every day is a good day and just having a good day in your own natural way. Right, right. And then we create a sense of community with the names of our candles. So we have Black Love, Good Friday, Thankful, Passion, Unwind. And I think if you tie in the business part or the product part of it smelling good with the branding part, Black Love, Good Friday. So like your Good Friday might be different than my Good Friday. Right, so I'm gonna right, ask right. you a question. What's your type of Good Friday? Like what's, what's a Good, good Friday, Friday to you? Um, I got a show. Okay, show. Yep, that's it. That's it. Show. Yep, it's, I'm working it's that. Sold I'm, out. If, if I'm working that Friday night, um, okay. that's a great. So that's Friday. your Good Friday, right? Uh, and then, so my Good Friday might be different, but we all can relate in just the fact that we all like having good days. And think about it. Whenever you out, whenever you do business, people always say, "Have a good day." It's like, damn, good day. It's it's a part of your natural life. It's subjective. And I'm bringing a product and a message and a brand with that through candles and. That's my thing, bro. So it's been a journey since 2019. Um, and like I said, we have three uh, that me and you partnered up on. Um, and then the second one I didn't mention is Jasmine Antoinette. And that's right. your... That's my baby sister. Yeah. Um, and of course, with for obvious reasons, I named that one Jasmine. Mm -hmm. Because Jasmine is the top note yeah. in it. Mm -hmm. So um, what else? Uh, what was this? Jasmine? This has um, Jasmine in it, um, Almond, and... Amber. Yeah, I knew it was. I couldn't remember if it was Egyptian amber or regular amber. The regular but yeah, amber in this yeah, one. that yeah. one. Um, that one was. That's that's also one of my favorites. And but you know, uh, women more or more um, fans of this one or whatever. But um, 
anybody can burn that one. If you just like a good scent, a good clean, laid back, but very powerful because I remember I had to open my door one time. I live in a small apartment right now anyway, so but I had to open my door when I lit that candle because it had filled up everything. Yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing, especially when you be smoking. So yeah. but yeah, nah, um And then the last one we have the third yeah, one is the, sensational. My, That's yeah. the Egyptian amber. Yeah, this was the first one that um that we did mm -hmm. together. That one is pretty much for anybody. Mm -hmm. Um is it, can, if you wanted to see what cozy smell like, if you ever want to know what comfortable smell like, this is what the fuck you need to get. Because that one it, it just smell comfortable. I wouldn't give a damn where you at. You can be uncomfortable and like this. Just this, <laughs> it just make you think comfortable yeah. and you gonna be all right. So yeah. that's, that, and that ain't even no flicks. Like when I smell that, I just get comfortable for some reason. Yeah. It's just something about that. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, don't have too many different other, you know what I'm saying, notes in it in case you just want, if you're one of those people who just like one scent, one note, one fragrance or whatever, it'll be that one because these are just concoctions of different types of, of notes, different notes of mind, mm -hmm. you know, but. Yeah, so those are the three that me and you partnered up on. Um, and we sell them individually. We sell them as a bundle so you can get all three. You can get all three or you can, you can buy three of one mm -hmm. or you can just buy them separately. Um, but you can buy them. I wouldn't give a damn how you buy them, but you can buy them. Um, and you won't regret it. Uh, they smell great. Um, I personally don't have a favorite. If you had to pick one of these. Mm. That's my favorite? Yeah, like if you had to set one of these motherfuckers on fire right now, which is we are, which one would you do? I'm gonna let you pick which one. We're gonna burn for the rest of the episode. I would say the the uh, the curving. I say that's a good ass idea. Just cause this is more so like like a little masculine. And yeah, that yeah, goes yeah. back into why you chose the fragrances you did for this candle and named it after your brother. Yeah. And this one is a little bit more. I mean, it's jasmine, not it's fruity. Jasmine, it's it's not smooth. fruity. It's jasmine is a floral scent anyway. It's a floral note anyway. Yeah. So, um, but and when you hear floral, you think about yeah. a feminine fragrance. Yeah. But a lot of people don't know that there are floral notes in a lot of masculine fragrances, mm -hmm. um, especially that baccarat that everybody like to wear. And um, let me see another one that I can just think of. They got this floral. Uh, Sergeoff has a, um, a unisex that's very uh, floral. Well, fruity. That's more fruity. Um, Francis Curzon does have another one, a la Rose, and that's floral. But we ain't going to get into that. We're going to get into the fragrance that I got for you today since you sure. didn't bring a fragrance in. Do you have a favorite? Before I even show you uh, one of my <laughs> personal, I want to know if you got one. Like cologne? Yeah. You know what? I'm not even, I don't even wear cologne. Bro, you getting too much money. You been no, around just all don't. these people. That, you ain't wearing cologne. And that's cologne. funny, though, because people, I have friends that's in the colognes, like, they'll go in the store and smell them. Yeah. But I think me, I just be moving so quick. Like, I never slow down. I'm like, all right, let me go stop and smell different fragrances. So, so you like, never be around people who just want to put you on one? They did, but it, it went in one and out the other. Mm. Now I might be over like somebody's house and they might got some like, let me spray some more right quick and that might be it. But as far as me going to like buy my own, like you're yeah. really into it. But it's crazy yeah, though, yeah, cause yeah. I make candles and candles isn't really cologne. It's still essential oils and fragrances. Uh -huh. But I'm not big on colognes. But I'm open to it. I just never. Well, I'm glad because I'm gonna put you on one here today. Um, you know, hopefully you'll go and grab it. Yeah. Um, my personal favorite. Well. One of my personal favorites is Ombre Leather by Tom Ford. Mm -hmm. um, it's been out about two or three years now, probably a little longer than that. Um, and it's, it's, it's definitely on his um, affordable, one of his, on his more affordable line. It's, it probably ain't going to stay that way long, bro, because when I let you smell this shit, you ain't going to believe how much it costs. I bet. So we got this segment of the show that's called Situations. Mm -hmm. And what that is is... I'm going to give you a situation, and mm -hmm. I'm going to present two fragrances to you, and you're going to tell me which one of those two that you would wear. 
Okay. At this particular, or during this particular situation, mm -hmm. um, I like to get kind of personal with the situations and as relatable as I can get with you, I gotta involve Beyonce yeah. since Beyonce yeah. shouted you out yeah. on her website with the candles and shit like that. So let's say Beyonce is having some type of formal event or just some type of event period, and she has invited you personally to sit right next to her. Now, what you're not wearing, in a sense, you're not familiar with any fragrances, any colognes. Out of these two right here that I'm about to present to you, which one would you wear yeah. when you sit beside Beyonce? Now, today we have uh, one that I am familiar with that's actually in my collection from Francis Curzon, the Aqua, Aqua Universal. That is a good one. Um, that's the one I'm going to spray for you first. And this also is uh, one that is new to me. I've never heard of it. So me and you both about to be introduced mm -hmm. to this one. Maybe they both might get a sale out of me and you. Um, it's called. It's, it's by Brunello Cuccinelli. I hope I'm saying that right. If I'm not, fuck you. Um, Cuccinelli. I am not into all of this shit. I am in. I am into the way it smells, not the way it it is pronounced. So again, I'm not familiar with this one, but we're gonna get on to. We're gonna try this one together. Uh, the first one again, bro, is the Aqua Universal. Is by Francis Curzon. Uh, his most favorite. His most famous fragrance is Baccarat. That is just one of the most duped and and replicated fragrances, and one of the most common fragrance today that I refuse to wear because everybody smells like it. But if you are into fine fragrances and you want to shop with Francis Curzon and you don't want to smell like everybody else, this might be one that you want to check out. Again, it's Aqua Universal and when you smell it, you're going to know why Aqua is in it. Right. Yeah, it's, it's, it's real clean. It's, it smells like a nice day on the beach, or you know. It's, it's but clean. you ain't sitting on the sand. You on you in you in the boat. You you sailing. You got your. It's a light scent. Yeah, it's light like clean got some linen scent. On yeah, the boat. you got a linen shirt on, but you ain't buttoning it up. It's open. You can see a little chest hair. You can see the throat, the neck, and the, yeah, least, all of that. It's at least eighty degrees outside. Oh, it's ninety seven. Ninety seven. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. It's hot, it's hot. bitch. It's hot. Yeah, it's hot when you wear that. You ain't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, 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 it's warm. It ain't even warm. It's warm when you wear that. It's warm. This is yes. the first option. You know what I'm saying? If you work out right. and you do leg day, you can wear your hoochie mm -hmm. daddy short. But if you like me and you don't go work out, you don't do none of that shit. It's you too. might want to wear some linen pants to get you a linen suit. Yeah, I yeah. Like this you know one. what I'm saying? The wind blowing, letting it. You know. That's mm -hmm. one that you definitely want to put in, on your upper body, mm -hmm. your neck, your chest, yeah. arms. Um, and that one also comes with a body oil. It don't come with a body it spray, it comes with a body it's oil. It comes with a body oil and a body lotion. So that one, you can seal the deal with that one. Right. So that's definitely one of my um, personal favorites. Again, this one, I don't know what the hell it is. Um, Brunello. Cuccinelli, again, fuck you if I didn't say it right. I know it's gonna be some people in the comments, I didn't say it right, who gives a fuck? You wear the smell, not the name. Let's see what this shit here smell like, bro. Oh I yeah, mean, cause you haven't smelled this one. No, either. I don't know shit about this one. This, this, for all I know, it smell like good mule piss. So we gonna, <laughs> we gonna see. And I think that's what it damn smell like. <laughs> no, it don't smell like mule piss. Uh, it don't smell like, hold on. Okay, as it's, it, it it got a good settle. It, it, it at first it is not nothing that I would want to buy, but as it settles, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know it's what I'm just saying. It's just different. Yeah, different. that's one that you would spray on 15 to 20 minutes before you arrive where you're going. That ain't nothing you hit right before. Like if you smoking on the way here, and soon you get through the gate, you on the uh uh. People, what the fuck he got on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. His granddad left that in car. That's what it's gonna smell like. You don't want that. This one, but the more it it's a good sit, option. yeah, that, you might want to spray that on about 15, 20 minutes before yeah. you pull up on Beyonce, cause it, it's not bad. It's it's very sophisticated, is and it's mature. It's nothing that people under forty gonna want. <laughs> For sure, facts. Yeah, that's grown man. Yeah, I got this? some business about myself. I got a few dollars. I got some land. That bins paid off. I don't need a new one, but I still got some money type shit. Might wear this to like a cigar lounge or something. something Definitely, like that. That, you see what I'm saying, motherfucker. Who, this that yeah, type of vibe. Who, who about to touch his but if his going to Dinner with Beyonce. I'm you gonna to take go, it down? Yeah, this yeah. this more. This, this probably match your outfit more. As long as you gonna wear light colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are. Nah, this shit. This smells good. Which one yeah. is this? Aqua Universal, and again, it comes with the lotion and the body spray. So you get that, you gonna lotion? seal it. Lotion, lotion. It's a body lotion to it too. Yes. Oh hell yeah. Yes. Yes. I gotta um, smell this. I'm actually. 
We're gonna link up, bro. We're gonna link up. This should be the first one I go get when we go to the store. We're gonna link up and we're gonna go get that, but. Huh? No, right here. No, it's just. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. No, it's that one. Oh, okay. uh, the Bruno, yeah. this, this oh, shit here. Yeah. But it's cool, though. It's cool, though. Y'all, yeah. I want y'all to, in the room and to the, test I can this only imagine with the body lotion. That's The lotion uh, is between $75 and $90. Okay. Uh, the body spray is like right at $95. But again, you going to get your money worth yeah, out of those. Um, I have all three. I have the lotion and the, and the, and the spray. And, well, uh, and the... Cologne. I don't have the cologne. I have the perfume. Mm -hmm. They though uh, Francis Curzon only offered this in a, a toilet and a perfume. He offers mainly perfumes and extras, but in this one he has a toilet, which is going to be cheaper. I can't remember the price of it, but mm -hmm. any toilet is going to be around one hundred and fifty to one hundred and ninety dollars. The perfume is going to be anywhere from two forty to two seventy five, and the stray is going to be anywhere from three forty to three seventy five. Well, three forty to four twenty five. Um, uh, so I think you said you're going to take that Aqua Universal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So I, I might have put you on one. So I got another one I want to put you on before I let you go, bro, because I know you're a busy man. I am too. Um, but before I let you go, bro, I want to show you one of my personal favorites. That's you know. That's been slept on. Uh, it's, it's 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 starting to grow. I don't think too many people know about it yet. It's been around about three years. I fell in love with it the moment I smelled it. Um, it's from Tom Ford. It's called Ombre Leather. Okay. Now, it's one of my personal favorites for many different reasons. Uh, one is the longevity. Uh, it lasts all day. Uh, no matter what time you spread it, it's going to last you all day. No matter what you spray it on, it's going to last. Whether it's your skin, your clothes, anything, it's going to last. It's, it's very sophisticated. It's very clean. Mm -hmm. But when you smell it, you're going to see why they call it leather. It's, it smells like a brand new leather jacket. But it, it's not that leather to what you don't want to smell like. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, I can't it's, wait it's to that, smell it. It's that new, it's that new bins. It, it ain't quite brand new that you still smell the plastic. But it's new enough that you still smell the seats. And it's one made. of your favorites, you it, said? it is my favorite. And I mix it with, when I was wearing Baccarat, I used to mix it with Baccarat. Mm -hmm. I want to try it with Amaris. But it's also a Francis Curzon uh, fragrance because Amaris is one of those fragrances you can just pretty much mix with anything. And you can wear it by itself. But it's, it's, it's very, I know this is not a word, but I'm saying concoctional. Um, <laughs> but nah, I'm gonna let you see. I, 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 before I go into further than this, I gotta tell you why I have two boxes in here. Um, this is a, when they first released this, this line. It came out in the regular perfume, and I don't know why they needed another version of it uh, to make it more intense because that's what this one is. Mm -hmm. This one is the first one that came out. Uh, that's why it just has the regular black label on it. It's the first one that came out. Um, again, I said the longevity to me was a nine out of ten. Mm -hmm. um, the rating for this is a 10 out of 10. So you, this is a fucking 11. But that's neither here nor, here nor there. Um, again, I don't know why they made a, a more intense version of this because this one was already packing that punch. I was already getting major compliments off of it and I wasn't telling people what it was. I didn't want nobody to know what it was. And you don't have to go to a higher end, high end store to buy this. You can go to Macy's or <clears throat> Dillard's or anywhere they sell decent fragrances to get it at. Uh, do you have a go-to store for your uh, cologne? Neiman's and Saks, because and they Sachs. carry everything that I want. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This one here, bro, oh my God. It remind me of why I, I fell in love with this one in the in the beginning. Uh, the ladies love that one, bro. And it's not unisex. That one is strictly for men. Um, ladies, if you wear that one, you're going to grow hair on your chin and your chest. <laughs> So um, stick to his other shit. He got fucking fabulous. He has um, he has a cherry smoke. He has um, that peach. He has a lot of shit for y'all. So this one is not for y'all. This one is strictly like for this. us, fellas. Yeah, you, you, you fuck with that one. You probably want to wear that one to your event with Beyonce now, no, especially if you're going to wear you some black. This is the first one? That they came out with? Well, this is, two? yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah I would let you smell this one, but I sprayed the shit out of it. I don't have any more left in it, but I just figured I'd bring the bottle to show you that it's two different versions. If you anyway. could describe the difference. What's it's the no difference. This one's just it's stronger. Oh, what is that? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll tell you the difference. I sprayed this one 14 times. Mm -hmm. I sprayed this one 10. Okay. 
So it's the same thing, just stronger. The same thing, just stronger. You know, if I spray this one 14 times, if I get in the car with a bitch, she might have to let the window down or crack the tilt the sunroof. Smell good. Yeah, it smells real damn good. I fuck with it. I love it. And see, and you can imagine how good it smells if you put that body spray on as soon as you get out of the shower. I got a little bit left in it. See, you want to spray it when you get out of the shower because your pores are open. And the more you perspire, mm -hmm. the warmer your body get, it's going to seep out. And that's what you want to do. That's what you want to come out of your pores. You don't want that, that you know, that patty milk you ate from Waffle House last night to be coming up out of there. You want, or that liquor you drink. So you said it's best for, for the body spray, it's best to spray that. You spray that you first. come out the shower. Yeah. But you know how I got like acts and stuff? But Is this, it still, it's still good to like spray, like you about to go out to the club? What? Spray? Axe? No, you throw that no, in the, the trash. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. That's I thought you were saying you uh -uh. spray Axe. Oh, hell no. <laughs> yeah. This, you spray this anytime you get out of the shower and you about to put this on. Right, right, okay. Anytime. I, the grocery store, coming here, club, going yeah. to the warehouse, anytime you're going to spray this on, bro, and you really want the, the maximum, like the ultimate, mm -hmm. the ultimate punch or the ultimate experience for the ombre leather, you want to put this on with it. They don't have a lotion that come with it. I think mm -hmm. they might have an aftershave. I don't know. I don't put all that shit on because my skin real sensitive yeah. and it'll break me out. But uh, you don't need it because once you spray this on, once you get out of the shower and you seal it with this, bro, you in the game. Yeah, no, that's right. You in the game. So did you did favorite. you did you change your mind on what you would wear, or are you still gonna kick it with the universal? Like if we go if we leave if when we leave here after this show and we go to the mall, which one of these you gonna buy if not both? If you just had to pick one today. Mm. I like your I like your favorite the the Tom Ford. But you going? But with I think the, now because this is like summertime, I feel good outside. I'ma get the but aqua. See, but see, I'm gonna tell you this now. That aqua universal, I wouldn't wear it at night. I don't give a damn. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So this would be like if we're going now. Yeah, but you can wear this one day or night one as another. You know, you can wear this day or night. Yeah. This anytime, yeah. anywhere. This probably be the the day one, the Tom Ford, yeah. the night one. Tom Ford, okay, I can see why you yeah, would make yeah, that your yeah. night, but again, that's anytime. But you can wear it. Not a Tom Ford's movie. Anytime, anywhere. Yeah, yeah, so that's what I had to choose. All right, man, so it, it, it seems like you have made your decision on um, which one you're going to wear. Uh, again, people, this one is my favorite. I give it a 10 out of 10. Um, any bottle, you know, that you want to go and get. This one is a little bit more than this one, of course. This one is right at like 160, 175, depending on what store you go in. This one gonna be right at 195, maybe 205, depending on what store you go in. You can't go wrong with either one, but if I'm going to buy one, I'm going to go and buy this one. This, it is, again, I don't know why they needed a more intense version, but I fucking appreciate the fact that they did. Um, Again, Tom Ford Ombre Leather, a 10 out of 10. The longevity, I give it a 10 out of 10. The everything is a 10. I give it a 10. And again, like I was telling Jeremy, when I put it on, I put the body the body spray on first, and then I seal it with the fragrance. Um, it's not one that you have to spray 15 minutes before you can arrive. You can spray it on anytime, and you're going to get the maximum experience from it. Tom Ford Ombre Leather, that is my personal, one of my personal favorites, and it is the prize pick bottle of today. Again, we have a partner from Good Day Since, Jeremy Hill. Um, thanks for bro, No, thanks for coming through, bro. I appreciate it. I appreciate everything from you, dog. Um, and that's our episode of the day. Again, this show is only for people who wash their ass, and if you sat there and watched this show and you know you don't wash your ass, <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Appreciate y'all. <laughs>